Hello everybody, how are you doing? I hope you're having a great day. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Kaylee Ellen and welcome to my channel. Today's video is probably not going to be very long, admittedly. This isn't a very long topic, it's just something I wanted to shed light on because I myself looked for this a while ago um, and I couldn't find anything, and I mean anything, on the internet. Not one thing I could find on this subject. So, let's cut to the chase. You've been on Instagram, you've been on Pinterest, and you've seen photographs of these beautiful tropical plants. They have beautiful, long, lance-shaped leaves. They have gorgeous white variegation. And to top it off, the undersides of the leaves are pink. You think to yourself, oh my God, what is this plant? It's beautiful. And you look it up and you find out it is in fact a Stromanthi sanguinea triostar, also known as a Calathea triostar. For the purpose of this video, I'm gonna to refer to it as a Calathea triostar, just for ease, because I don't wanna say those long names. We don't need them. So, so long story short, you've gone on the internet, you found the plant that you want, or maybe you haven't. Maybe you've just seen it, you know, in your local plant store. And if you're in America, that might be, I think you guys have logies. Uh, over here, we might have Ikea, we might even have a supermarket that's selling plants, we might have B&Q. We have a lot of places to get plants from. So wherever you found your beauty of a plant, well done to you for bringing it home. I hope you're happy. However, you got it home and you think to yourself, let me just grab it. Oh my god. Sorry, this plant just looks so good on camera. Look at the size of this plant compared to my head. So you brought this plant home and you're thinking, okay, I've got it. I've got my trio star. Yas, step one complete. However, a large portion of this plant is, as you can see, it's quite green really. There is, of course, white variegation on it, but it's it's kind of few and far between. It's just not, it's not what we want. Um, so you're probably thinking, what can I do? Well, I'll give it more light for right now. My plant is actually bowing its leaves very, very quickly because I'm sat in front of two soft boxes. So my plant's just gonna probably progressively bow over the course of this video. Um, I call it bowing when the leaves fall down because it feels like they're bowing. So you think to yourself, I'm gonna give this plant more light, I'm gonna increase these uh, beautiful white variegated spots until they start to become larger and larger trunks and eventually they will take over the leaf and I will have what everybody else on Instagram has, I will have what everyone else on Pinterest has, I will have my beautiful variegated trio star. I have some bad news for you. <laughs> This is my trio star. She is quite beautiful. She is also bowing under these softbox lights. Uh, she has a lot of variegation. Not, I think not absolutely tons of variegation, but for me, I think it's quite a good amount because I would like to still see some green. Um, and of course you don't want a fully variegated plant because it's not good for them. They can't photosynthesize correctly. So they do need the green in the leaves, which is of course the chlorophyll. She also has, of course, these beautiful pink undersides of the leaves. For the most part, she's in good health. Uh, she has one dodgy tip here, and she is very, very variegated. Now, the thing that is preventing this plant from being as variegated as this plant is, this is not a Calathea trio star. This has been mislabeled in the shop that you bought it from. I know that kind of sucks. You cannot get your plant into the, the variegated state that this plant is because they're actually different plants. You may not know that and you may be trying your hardest to get your plant to look more like this one and you just think, what on earth am I doing wrong? It's under a grow light, it's in front of a window, it is getting so much light. It's getting more white bits but it, it's just not, it's not doing what the other plants are doing. And it is, it's a different plant guys, I'm really sorry. This here is a Calathea Ostromanthi magic star. This is not, and I repeat, not a Calathea trio star. It's very similar, don't get me wrong, it's very similar. It's similar enough for shops or, you know, plant sellers, I, I should say, to mislabel this plant. It is very, very easy to do. So you're probably thinking, well, how do I know? So how do I know that I don't have trio star? Well, the best way to tell, honestly, is I don't wanna put this plant too far to the camera because I'm actually in manual focus right now. So it's probably gonna go blurry as hell. But uh, if I can just move it a little bit closer to the camera there, that should be okay enough. You should be able to see on the leaves, there is some speckling. It's not, how can I explain this? The parts of the leaves that aren't variegated still have a speckling through them. Like at no point at the on the green parts of the leaves is it just pure green, if that makes any sense at all. So even the green parts of the leaves that aren't variegated still have um, kind of speckles of white running through them. 
I will insert some closer pictures so you can actually see what I'm talking about, just in case this is just not coming off on camera. Conversely, this one, if you can see here, the parts of the leaves that are not variegated are solid green. Absolutely solid green. There is not one ounce of speckle in that leaf. And that is how you tell the difference if you have a Calathea Trio star or a Calathea Magic star. Now, I will finish this by saying there's absolutely no problem with having a Magic star rather than a Trio star. It might not be what you wanted, but I can promise you these plants are just as beautiful, honestly. It's actually, I actually prefer this plant to this plant. I don't know why. I actually think it's just the way that it sits in my living room. It kind of sits literally like a star because the plant is kind of like facing a window. So it kind of like fans its leaves out like this, like, Arr! and it takes all the light in that way. So it actually genuinely looks like a star when it sits there. In my uh, plan to a video, you'll know I do actually have a larger one of these. I couldn't bring it upstairs. It's too big. Like, it's not funny how big it is. So I do still love both plants, but what I'm saying is don't be disheartened because you have this plant because to be honest with you, it's possibly a lot more rare. I don't know how common or uncommon this plant is because a lot of the time it is mislabeled as something else. So if you actually look for the hashtag Calathea Magic Star on Instagram, you won't find many posts at all. But if you look at the Calathea Trio Star hashtag, you'll probably see a few magic stars in there, so... So thank you very, very much for watching. As I say, I just wanted to clear this up because I cannot find anything on the internet no matter how hard I've tried. So here it is. Now you know if you have this plant. So if you'd like to know any care tips for either or both of these plants I've mentioned, please let me know. I'm more than happy to do a video on it. Similarly, I fancy doing a video on my Calathea collection, if you will. So if you're interested in seeing that, please leave comment down below and I'll be sure to read it. So I guess that's it guys. Thank you very, very much for your time. Let me know if you found anything out. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.